Hello everyone. Welcome to Colorful Pages. Today's tutorial is in continuation with the tie and dye which we had already done in the part 1. So this video is about dyeing that is coloring. So this is the stall. I hope you remember this. In the part 1 we had tied it. In this part we are going to color it. These are the things which are required. Here I have water in this utensil. This is salt. Now this is normal kitchen salt. Nothing special, nothing different. The ordinary kitchen salt which we use in our kitchen, in our cooking, this is the same salt. Here there is a special type of color. This is black color which I am using. This is a special color which is used for tie and dye. So if you want to buy this, you can either buy it online in various websites, online websites. Otherwise you can buy this from a local art supply shop also. The only thing which you have to say is, I want a tie and dye color. Nothing else, nothing special. This has no any particular name. So you need not worry about it, right? And this is uh, for the scarf. This is around two spoons I will use. This is black color because I want to make a black and white scarf. And of course the other things you can see. This is a kitchen tong. I need gloves, scissor and a spoon. Nothing much. I also need plain water. Here I have room temperature water. This is nothing special. And I will mix little salt in it. It's around as you can see one I will use lot of salt okay two three and four roughly four spoons of salt I am mixed in this and I am mixing it with my hand this water is neither cold it is nor hot this is in room temperature so with my hands very simply I have mixed the salt in the water and this cloth I will dip in this first. This cloth is very dry I want it to absorb water. Now meanwhile I am going to switch on my gas and this water I want it to boil. Okay, so I've switched on the gas and I'm waiting it to boil. My gloves on, you can see, and my water is also boiling. What next? Let's start. Here again, I'm using the same common kitchen salt. And one, two, three, four, five. Six, around six spoons I have used now just some more boil I'll increase the flame so that it boils fast this is the same tie and dye color I have explained to you black color I'm using and one spoon and one more so it is around two tablespoon right two tablespoon of black color this is jet black I can mix and just in a mid flame it's not high it's medium flame right and if children are doing please take help of your uh, mothers or somebody else some elder person elder sister elder brother your father do take help of somebody elder in your home okay don't do such things alone right should be under guidance next thing this is soaked nicely i am going to squeeze it and drain all the water from here all the extra water nicely as much as I can drink right 
so drained the water nicely with my hands this is normal temperature water so I can do it easily all right and I am dipping this entire thing in the black color now you need to be very very careful I am using this to dip it properly right like this you can see okay please be careful and for around 10 minutes 15 minutes you need to boil it just turn and boil be very careful at this stage okay your flame should be mid it should not be very high and keep on turning in between so that it gets color it absorbs the color from everywhere nicely see tie and dye is very easy very very easy it's not difficult and very interesting you will be very happy to see the result very very happy I'm sure you will be very happy to see the result and I am also very excited I'm waiting to open this so again around 10 minutes you can also put a timer in your mobile phone in your watch and can listen to some nice music along with it this stole I have brought some nice things to decorate this stole I will show you this special decoration of this stole the making of this stole in another video in this video we will do only the coloring there is one more video which will be dedicated to the decoration of this tool how I am going to do my creativity and make this tool look personalized I don't like market made things because they are common and every second person has it so there is no charm in wearing it I like something which is unique which is different and which is personalized and I guess all ladies like the same so this will be my personalized stole tie and dye my own self and decorating it my own self so see how nicely this is jet black color you can see the color has come so nice with only two spoon color of this tie and dye color I have not used much it depends largely on the quality of colors also please this thing needs to be checked if your tie and dye color is of a poor quality sometimes you get really poor quality tie and dye color in which mud is there sand is there then you will not get this good output this jet black will be achieved only when your tie and dye color is of a good quality and don't forget to mix salt in it okay salt is a very very important element you can see the color is coming so nice pretty black now this it's too it's boiling too much so i will simmer it for a while you can keep on doing according to yourself sometimes you can go to mid flame sometimes you can simmer it okay so it will take about 10 to 15 minutes so it's already 10 minutes now i have been boiling this cloth in the black color nicely and you can see that the color is looking rich and vibrant there are two factors which are mainly uh, depending you know they are responsible for the brightness of the color and the cloth to get dyed properly first thing is your cotton cloth should be cotton it should not be a terry mix or a polyester mix otherwise the color will go and it will not look good 
secondly that your color quality i mentioned this thing before also the color quality which you are color which you are using for coloring the tie and dye color the quality of the color should could be good so both the things you have to remember carefully that both these things should be nice the quality of the cloth as well as the quality of the color so it's done it's done it's done i will switch off the gas and i will remove these things first here make some space this is again that same plain water in which i have added salt earlier and this leftover salt also you can see i have used around one small bowl of salt in this complete tie and dye process half i have used here and the other half i have used in the dyeing process so the rest i am mixing here with the help of a spoon i will mix please remember one thing these utensils which you are using in tie and dye should not be used in cooking purposes again okay so it is very dangerous if you use these utensils again for cooking kindly use a utensil which is discarded and you are not cooking in it again so those kind of utensils especially the steel utensils such kind of steel utensils which are there at your home please use it for tie and dye and do not cook food in it again so i have to shift this cloth into this water right i need to be very careful because it is hot if children are doing take help of somebody elder okay so like this i will hold for a while some water will come out of the cloth wherever this water will go it will fall it will leave a stain okay so be careful i am using this tray like this okay and this i will cloth i will leave here in normal water now it is easy if you use a tray like this it is easy so you see the extra color will come out now you can see that the whole water is black but my cloth is also black hmm and see still the color of the cloth is nice jet black so i will leave it here to cool down for again around 20 minutes so all the extra water all the extra color will go in the water okay so wait for 20 minutes and we'll be back it is already 20 minutes now and i've got my tub near my kitchen sink and i want to wash this thing so in running water in the sink nicely i will wash it you see and you see my color has come so nice so beautiful color see black i will wash it nicely gloves are very important you see hands get very dirty and these are chemical dyes so your hand may get badly very bad effect so you need to cover your hands use any gloves which you have at home i'm washing it very nicely see all the excess see can you see the water now my water is coming clean and clear see right that means my dye is really good it means my cloth is good my color is good and my timing is good i have used around 10 to 15 minutes in boiling this cloth in the color and 20 minutes i have left it in this tub after 20 minutes i am washing it nicely in water and my water is coming clear now nicely wash it 
the extra color will go okay so you don't have to worry that my color is coming out or there is so much of black color here you need not worry about that that is all the extra color now this thing is done I washed it nicely what next next is I have to leave this for a while I will hang it on my tap itself like this so the extra water will drip down and when it is done the extra water dripping is finished I will come back and show you the beautiful results I will open all the threads and show you how this dupatta this tool looks like so it's been 20 minutes and uh, the excess water from here is gone I will start untying it slowly I can cut from places here and there to make this untying process easy this is the last knot the last tie which I am opening now I have almost opened the entire tying part here be careful with the scissors you should not cut the cloth okay while you are untying it please take care that you are not cutting the cloth it should be done very carefully yes I have done it yes 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 and I'll show you this chana see this was the chana the white chana which we had used <laughs> it will go to the dustbin now see my pattern you will love it it's amazing see with these black chanas how beautiful design came I will open and show you the entire you can see still it is wet when it is dry I will show you again and I will do some more creativity in this and make some nice tassels red color tassels and I will make a separate video for that so that you all will learn how to make tassels to decorate your stoles and dupatta so this is my pallu you can see now and beautiful design came with the chanas which I have tied this is the center portion see how beautiful amazing this is why I have fallen in love with tie and dye I hope you all have understood now and this is the other side of the pallu so let it dry and I'll show you again I am back with the stole which I had dyed yesterday I'll just open and show you how it looks like see 
beautiful see the design of the pallu how it looks like beautiful pattern beautiful design and personalized see how it will look long enough comfortable stylish trendy and again i will say personalized you can see these edges the edges i have not done yet i will make a separate video on how to style this stall and how to make it more creative and look wonderful so keep waiting for the next video i would also like to show you some more samples of tie and dye work which i have done in few days first is this jacket this is a georgia jacket of tie and dye i made it with single dye right single color this video is about single color so this one jacket is of single color this is another tie and dye this is double color beautiful kurti this is cotton i'll also show you my sari this is a dishing sari with a blouse also in tie and dye see beautiful tie and dye this is this is the inner part of the sari the sari and this is the pallu concentric circles this is double dye i hope you like all these and your interest in tie and dye will develop much much more in the coming days so see you in the next video which will be about dyeing with two colors stay tuned stay home stay healthy stay happy